Hey Wargamers, welcome to another Lion Wargaming Hobby Tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how I speed paint my clan rats. I call my color scheme for the clan rats my Royal Color Scheme. It's really easy and it's unique from all the other clan rat paint schemes you can find out there. I will be using my Craggy Blue and Nagaroth Knight for the cloaks, Lead Belcher, and Balthazar Gold, which is basically a bronze for the weapons, Leather Brown for the skin or fur, and Barbarian Flesh for the tails, along with the Nolan Oil Shade. You could probably use some Citadel paints for these, but I just have these two army painters lying around and I decided to use these. So here's a model that I'll be painting today. As you can see, I primed the model with ultramarine blue. Since blue is one of the main colors, I decided to go ahead and prime it blue. You could just spray it black if you wanted. It really is just your choice. It doesn't matter too much. Even though we sprayed it blue, it's still good to apply a solid blue layer on the parts that we want to be blue. So on this top cloak part here, we're just going to apply our McCraggy blue on the top. Just a pretty thin layer. So before I continue, um, I didn't know that this happened until in the middle of the recording. Apparently my Nagaroth Knight is all dried out. So I apologize, but I'm going to continue doing the video instead with an acrylic purple that I found that should look the same as Nagaroth Knight when it's shaded. So I'll just start applying my Nagaroth Knight look-alike to the bottom cloak part here. So while the Nagaroth Knight is drying, I'm going to start applying brown to the fur of the clan rat. Alright, after our leather brown is applied, I'm going to start putting on the Balthazar Gold, which again, really, it pretty much is just bronze. So I'm going to use that for his bell. Not all the models have, or not all the models are bell ringers, but this is just the one that I chose for the tutorial. Most will just have regular spears or swords, and you can just put the lead belcher on those. Or even, you could even do Balthazar Gold on weapons if you chose. Alright, now it's time to apply our lead belcher, mostly just to detail the shield here, just on the edges. 
and normally you would apply this to the sword or spear, but since this is a bell ringer, it doesn't have that. So you see there's this midsection right here in between the two cloaks and we're just gonna paint that lead belcher as well. I'm not quite sure what it is but I just I think it's a piece of armor so that I'm just gonna paint it lead belcher. And now for the barbarian flesh on the tail. Now this is an army painter war paint and I would recommend that try and get a citadel paint that could do this because it takes at least two layers of this stuff to actually get a solid coat. It's very thin and sometimes it's kind of annoying to work with. Alright, so here's the model after I applied the second layer of barbarian flesh to the tail. I also went ahead and painted the tiny little rat on the bell black. Not all the clan rat models have black, so that's why I didn't include the color at the beginning of the video on the color selection. Also, another color that you can do but you don't actually really need is skeleton bone. And I'm using this for the teeth of the clan rat and the little bandages on his feet. But if you're painting like 120 of these, you might not want to do this step because it will just add more time to your already very large army. But you can do it if you want. This is an optional step. So normally at this stage of the miniature, I would patch up all the spots that I accidentally got paint on. Like if I got a blue spot on the fur, then I would patch that up. But you really, with 120 clan ants, you don't really need to do that because they'll be in big blocks of 20 or 40 and they're all gonna just blend into each other and nobody but you is gonna know that there's an accidental piece of paint there. So. You don't need to do that, it will save you lots of time if you don't. So then we can just skip right onto the shading step. So here I have my non oil, and I'm just going to take it and slap it on the whole model except for the rat's tail. I, do, I mean, you can do that, but I prefer to use. Reichland flesh shade for that it just gives it a crisper look than if it was to be shaded darker And that does conclude today's painting tutorial. Here are some other clan rats that I have done in the same exact paint scheme. Very easy to do. If you have a bunch of clan rats, if you just go through all of them at once with the same color, you'll get through them fairly quickly. I would much rather recommend that than 
individually painting them one at a time. And I also want to mention very quickly that about halfway through the video, I did switch to a mic. So if you noticed a difference, good or bad, then please tell me in the comments below because I'm not quite sure if I should go micless or not. So you tell me down in the comments what sounds better. If you found this helpful, tell me in the comments below and be sure to subscribe, like, and tell me if there's something that you want to see or another painting tutorial or a battle report. Be sure to clean your brushes and have a nice day.